Hi, I'm Pat with Chinook Wind Machines, and we're here to talk about preparation for running your wind machine the night before a frost event. So there's a couple things that we need to check. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that all the preventative maintenance on the tower has been done. Uh, everything's been lubed, fluids have been checked all the way down to the gearbox. And then we're going to look at preventative maintenance issues on the engine itself and some checks that you need to do before you start the machine. So the first thing you need to do is check the fluids. So we're gonna check and make sure that we've got an adequate level of antifreeze in the uh, radiator. And we're also going to check the engine oil. And then we're gonna do a visual inspection of the air cleaner, make sure that it's not tattered, falling apart, filthy, needs to be replaced, because it's gonna affect the performance of the machine. We're also gonna give a visual inspection of the hoses here, the belt, the fan, and then just a general look over of the electrical to make sure everything looks like it's in place. The other thing you're going to want to take a look at is the battery. You need to make sure you have a good charged battery, that the cables are tight and they're corrosion free, no corrosion, because this is your weak link. <coughs> After all that's been checked, everything passes, what we want to do is start the machine, verify that we have oil pressure, verify that we have a charge coming out on the alternator so it's charging the battery while it's running. And then it's a good idea to go ahead and run the machine up to about half throttle, run it for 10 to 15 minutes. This ensures that everything gets warmed up, looped up, loosened up, ready to go, and that you have no problems. Once you've done this, um, go ahead, take the machine back down to an idle, and shut it down, and now you're ready for the night's event. 